We're in Caesar's Palace and we've just both got a pina colada. Look at that. So two pina coladas, three dollar tip. <laughs> Can't win you that at all. And that looks amazing. And Seth just said it's bloody strong. <laughs> Too so we're still on the same machine that's at the thousand, and hopefully we can get a bonus. No, it's been a good day so far. I really had a good day. Um, just chilling down this end of the strip. Um, obviously, we started down at the wind this morning. So, no, we're having a good day then. So, like I say, if we get any bonuses, no doubt I'll film it. Catch you in a bit. Another bonus on the same machine. The one in that major. Oh, that's pulled. Another one about another 10 15 dollars down, so it's going to be better than the last one, surely. Huh? As in hitting, uh -huh. there we go, better than the last one already. A bit more, huh? come on. Oh, mini just went past, minor, sorry. As far as all these bonus I've had on here, I've not actually seen the major yet. No, this turned out all right. Now it's really turned out alright, come on. Alright, so he's spinning in one, so he ain't getting that. Go on, just drop that last one in. Drop the major in. Uh, oh, that's still not bad though. Down to 33 now. Let's see if we get another one.
bar in Man of the Swords. How was it? 30 minutes in here. I'm on my fourth now, I think. Literally, it's the type ending. And I can feel it. <laughs> Definitely feel it. this look at that I thought the 16 gram was big that's huge so there we go Steph got a little bonus earlier we only put 50 in uh, she got 30 odd oh look at that a little bit there he falls man he falls Free trigger will do though. Uh, oh, not really hitting much here. This could be pretty damn poor unless we get free now. Oh, yeah, that's pretty poor bonus unless we get three triggers. Oh, three trigger at least. Needed that. Because that was about to be a $1.50 bonus. So, let's go again. Oh, another re trigger. Get in. Come on. See if these three triggers are worth it. Go on, free, free, free somewhere. Go on, one. Uh, come on. Does not want to play. Oh, that's going to be a good hit, though. That'll be a good hit. Uh, $11. Not too bad. So so low, I've just been doing dollar hits. And then literally free spins when I change it down to 50 cents. I get a bonus. Come on. Oh, four. Come on, need something. Go on, go on. Oh, flip it out. Come on. Uh, nothing there. Wow. Come on. Oh, you're joking. Summit, please. No way. Lucky I got that retrigger. Because we're literally hitting nothing, yeah. Hit the scatter and that's it. So, it does seem like I've been playing 
Dragon Link all day, but it's because I've done so well on it. It's giving me a game all day. Oh, come on, need something now. Free trigger. Oh, you're joking. Nothing. $2.12. Absolutely nothing on that gun. Anyway, we'll keep going. So, just say a bonus on this. On. Yeah, I'm not even going to go there. Funan, Funan. <laughs> no idea. Let's go into the shop. Let's see what we can hit. Four thirty before we even start. Let's see what we can do now. Oh, a couple of big hits. Oh, look at the ride. That's going to be good. Wow. Just hit one hundred and forty-five dollars. Nice. So I was literally on that machine there where Steph sat and then the woman was leaving she goes look play this it's been really loose and no shit Sherlock <laughs> if you don't mind me swearing so that's the biggest hit we've had all day and that now puts us about $50 down to after that hit definitely take that still got eight spins left so cheers to that one I think anything now is a bonus I mean I would not be surprised if I literally dead spin the bloody rest cool. but they get so I've been greedy and saying I'll have one more here Nah, uh, torture. I wasn't expecting much more to be honest with you. 155? Five? I'll take that. What a bonus off 88 cents bet. Quality win. So we're now up to 187 and we started with 15 Harris. Uh, and even though I've not done my lucky thing, I always turn the music all the way up. I always make sure that says dollars, not credit. Maybe I don't need to do that anymore. So we're currently in Harris, uh, Seth's out on a Buffalo gold machine. And I just thought I'd make a way down to the piano bar. Uh, due to the fact that the Elvis is off. Come on, Elvis! Come on, Elvis! It's absolutely brilliant. Everybody clap up in your hands with us. Hey, come on! Sorry, man. I'm a little wheezy in the house. You do a little coat of me. I'm a little girl, but that's where the world is. And they got to give us a tiny bit of a sign. Hey! Love. It was a fun thing. So, it's really nice. I know my father in law absolutely loves it. He does, it, he does this on the karaoke. Right. Wow. Wow, what a desire. Well, I fell into a pretty weird place. Went down, down, down. Flames were our place. And it burns, burns, burns. So we saw some of these videos of the... Uh,
Go to the link. So we haven't decided if we're going to get some food or just go down the promenade and maybe get some food from down there. Still debating. So guys, if we go for food, I'll show you what we're eating. And if you end up betting, I'll let you know. So just walking down the link. And the intention is tonight, is to get on that high roller. So we've got a 30 minute bar up there. And torch you, I need to splash the bar as much as we did in Man of Swords, I think. We're just debating what's on to eat, so. As you can hear, I'm quite indecisive. <laughs> Alright, so Steph's now saying she wants Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips. So, it looks like we're going Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips. Which is absolutely. It was here last time, it's absolutely brilliant. So, let's go and see what this is like in here again. It is absolutely amazing. You can't beat a bit of Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips. Quality. Just in the link now. After being to yeah, it's that picture of it. Hey Steph, jump on that wicked wheel. What for some dollar is that? <laughs> so she's gonna go and gamble on wicked wheel. So just walking around the link now. So just coming in from that way, I think. Oh, it's a light. Came in that way. Really good at here. Yeah, that'll be a good screen to watch. I should put you on that. I'll be gleaming. So, this sports what's called the book, and it looks gleaming actually. You know, massive bar. Perfect. I love these screens that go up on the walls and that. When you walk in and out as well, they've got them all over there. Bought there. So we've got the zip line now down the uh, promenade. But we'd just be sat outside uh, Ramsey's Burger. Uh, sorry, Ramsey's Fish and Chip Shop. 
I haven't seen one guy go down here. Not one. So look at this area they've got here. So I don't know how that zip line's doing, but George, you're looking at it. It doesn't look better than free one. This is a sports book. I think it's quality. Cover Torch here. Of all sports books I've seen, this actually looks. Even if you took to to Caesars, MGM Grand, uh, and all that, this actually looks the most comfiest. I just, honest opinion, I think this looks like the best sports book that I've seen. Right. Right, shout it out for it. So, I'm just going to go find Steph. I'm hoping she's gambling on this wicked wheel because I've just seen the bonuses on there. Yeah, there she is. And the minus at 15 never gets to 15. Oh, somebody's just hit the uh, minor though. And I think somebody's hit that major, but other than that, it looks quite cool. So we do a bit of gambling in here. And then I'll catch you later, guys. So an absolute random machine, because I like Big Bang Theory. I thought I'd give this a go, so I've just hit the bonus. Two dollars a spin. I put 40 in here, I'm down to 11. So let's see what this thing does. Look up. Oh, that one there. It's better be good. <laughs> yeah, this way gives me $2.50. Oh, we're getting in then. I've never played this before. Oh, oh, five minutes. Stop, 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 stop. Right, stop there then. Yeah, stop, stop, stop. Oh, so we've got Howard. The sound is absolutely shocking on this machine. You won the Mislik Warlords of Cap. God knows what this is. Absolutely God knows. So, pick a hero card. Nah, let's go to the right what I want. Times two. The worst. So whatever I get on this then, I'm guessing it's time to. Oh, maybe not. Pick a card. Fifty credits. You've got to be shaming. There's no way that's gonna be a dolly. Oh, I'm gonna pick another card. Let's say times two. Pick another card. Oh. I'm guessing this is it after this one. Increase multiplier. Needed that and an extra pick. So three times. Wow, that was absolutely dog shit. So I didn't go on, show me what I could have won. No, 540, I suppose. Wow. For two dollars a spin. That's absolutely crap. Big win? Yeah, of course. Oh well. So, I'm going to play this literally, I'm going to one, one spin it and then leave it as that. No, oh, what's this thing I do? So I've won $9? I don't know. I absolutely no idea what I just did. Let's go for one more spin. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Right. Most random game ever. Right. Just because I like Big Bang Theory, I suppose. So that's leave, us leaving the link, probably about 150 down in there, so I think we're about 250 to 300 down now total for the day. <coughs> Excuse me, so we're just walking down now to the high roller. And to jump on there. And considering we've had quite a few drinks up to now, and we've got a free bar going around there for half an hour, this could get messy.
So it should be good this, like I say, free ball for half an hour. So it should be epic. Like I say, I've done the one in London. So it's definitely been on anything like this, so this should be fun. So let's see how it goes. This is us waiting to get on the high roller now. So obviously these are the ones we're out the we're out the bar in a happy half hour. Yeah. But, uh, look at this, it's gonna be the most secure um, traffic wheel you'll ever see. Just us getting off the high roller. All I can say is, wow, <laughs> Steph hated it. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I, I rephrase that. She didn't hate it, hate it. She just just wanted to sit down. You probably had what two drinks? In fact, not even two drinks. She still sat there with a full one. So you come off, and they make sure you walk off with one, which are really good. And you get a shot when you get to the top, and the view is it's absolutely amazing. Like I said, I've done a bit of a video up there, but the camera kept slipping off the side. I think I need a new um, stand for my phone. It's just a little bit longer, because it just slips slightly. Um, so I don't, know, I don't know what the footage should be like once I speed it up and that, and just play with it, but I'll see what I can do with that. But it's a great view. And the picture I got at the top, so the barman was freaking gleaming. Absolutely gleaming. He, he I didn't swear. I didn't swear. Seth says I'm swearing. Yeah, I probably swear. Pretty much now, I'm pretty much half couple, so that's my that's my excuse. Um, and you can probably tell that because I'm talking really fast in my Yorkshire accent as well, so I probably don't help even more. Well, I say Yorkshire accent, it's more or less gone. I've <laughs> been down south all the time, but no, um, it really got the bomb was gleaming. It took a great photo, so I'll post the photo um, halfway through this footage because it was <laughs> probably the best photo I've ever got. I thought it was gleaming for. What's up? I'm not being big headed. Seth says I'm being big headed. I don't think I'm being big headed. So, not sure exactly what the plans are for now. Um, we're going to walk around here. Probably walk down to Flamingo actually, do a bit of gambling in Flamingo. Steph needs a toilet. Standard. 
I call it Steve Baker, one of my uh, mates who's a recce mech with me at work. And we call him old man because he literally goes to the toilet every two minutes. So Steve, if you if you do end up watching this at any point, um, yeah, <laughs> it's just reminding me of you at the moment where I need a toilet every 30 seconds. So guys, I'll catch you in a bit and if we do any more gambling, um, no doubt we'll film it and catch us in a bit. So for anyone that knows, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what you um, associate crochets with and that is... Bottles and Baileys. <laughs> Definitely intend on getting one of them in the next hour or two. Um, I think we're going like to go get Flamingo first. See how we're doing there. But we are a bit down today, but to be honest with you, what the hell? <laughs> After yesterday, I'm really not that bothered. So, Seth now says she wants to go and have a walk around Isle of Sugar. Um, so, we'll go see what it's like in here. So just say, uh, shall we? On the, sh on the shark game. Let's see what we get. Such as hitting the bonus on Farmville. Let's see how many games you can get. Literally, she put thirty dollars in here. Three games is. Reckon we have a winner. Thirty-seven fifty probably the better action. He's good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. 720. Nice 728 there. Oh yeah, get in one too. My crash triggered. Get in. Pick a pumpkin. Come on then Seth, pick a good one. You want 25 times four. Come on, just pick wow. it. You pick the yellow ah, 40 pumpkin. times two ain't bad. Could have been worse. So, 14 spins left, needs to fill it to get times two. This might be difficult. From past experience, she might struggle to do this. The step is down to literally our last dollar. And she's hit this. So she can fill it, it's times two for everything. So she's got nine spins to get the last two. Everything oh, winner! <laughs> so everything doubles. You can see it there. That's $13, and she's still got eight spins left. See what she can get on the next one. Save it. All values increased. Hopefully, she gets some biggies. The last time she did this, she had a $90 uh, pumpkin. Don't think she's going to be that lucky this time. Oh, it's $4.50, mind. I think she'll struggle to fill. She pretty much needs to hit one every one. Yeah, that's how many. So she needs it two and the one last spin. Oh, yeah, let's be honest, something's never gonna happen. That's really something. That's not bad. I know, Jan. So she's only on, like, five steps there, she's only on two games of eight. Hopefully we can get this again. 
not holding my breath well. Press the button. Go on, press it. Press it. <laughs> That's 3450. 3435. Alright, let's go. So six spins. Hope we can get another one of them. I'll be shocked if she does to us here. Oh, I'm sorry you count on the front then. <laughs> Very much. If she gets anywhere near 50, she's doing well. Two spins left. Oh. So last spin. Oh well. That's not bad. 42 dollars. Definitely take that. So considering we started in here on 50, we're in the Cromwell now. Uh, that's not too bad. Hopefully we can get another bonus. So another bonus on here. The reason going on this one is super, well not so much super, the major is really big. So let's see what we get. You doing it or am I doing it? Well it's Seth. Do not want free games. And I'm getting 15 free games. But there you go, at least that's the highest I can get. Definitely need some re triggers right now. Wow, come on. Take that. Time to free. Oh. The amount of buffaloes on that second screen, that's going to be a nice hit, surely. the Cromwell and told you the waitress service is really good before I even get halfway down a beer they're offering me another one so pretty much stacking so here we had a pretty much a free bar in the high roller and the amount of swords $16 oh so lucky So, half cut, pretty much three quarters go. So, aim is that, 918. Come on. Down to the last two. Come on. 
15 grand what we've had. Oh, nothing there. Oh, it's top left. There, I can't see that hitting. Bottom right now. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Ah, there's nothing there. Absolutely nothing there. I mean, at least something's showing. Yeah, nothing's showing. Oh, well. Look at that. dollars in the Cromwell we're down to 46 so see so how we go so that's us just left the Cromwell and now we're going to head over to Bally's uh, we're 25 dollars down in um, Cromwell um, to honestly the waitress service in there was actually pretty good um, pretty much honours by the time I was halfway down the beer so Unless I've had too much to drink and I'm in an absolute light rate, which is, let's be honest, at this time of night, possible. Um, the service is really, really good. Look at that for a few. Well, that's your Cosmo and Paris. So you're going to go to Bally's, maybe be in there. If not, head over to Paris and see how we do there. But absolutely. That for a view. Cannot beat that. What? So we've been in Bally's a couple of times, but I don't actually think we've ever took this entrance. We took this entrance into Bally's? Yeah, man, have we? So I think Matt Bridge will go up here a few times, and maybe a few other people who do the vlogs. But yeah, we've never been up here. Been in Bally's, <laughs> just not through this entrance. Kind of cool. But yeah, I'm pretty much, I won't say smashed, but <laughs> three quarters cut rather than half cut is probably the most best way to put it. Another escalator view for you. I think I'm so good at that. The lights go behind us. Morning guys. So yesterday we caught an Uber down to the Wynn. Really nice hotel down there. And then just made our way up from that end of the strip. And walked up, uh, and just basically walked up uh, the strip all the way up to Paris in the end. Um, the reason we went down there as well is because we had Man of the Swords booked yesterday. Uh, with half hour in the hangover bar experience which was really, really good. I managed to get through four drinks <laughs> within that half hour. I pretty much left there half cut. Um, then just went through, just made our way through like Harrah's, Bally's, went to see Big Elvis and that. And they've got a karaoke bar as well in the um, piano bar down there. But it's, it's not karaoke. It's absolutely um, guys that can proper sing. I was going to have a go and then just totally changed my mind. Um, as you can tell, I'm pretty much hungover to hell this morning. Because um, of that uh, hangover bar experience. And then obviously went on the uh, high roller and then also hit it hard on there. So yeah, definitely feeling a bit delicate this morning. Uh, yeah, so we basically, like I said, we went our way up, just gambling through all the um, casinos down there. It ended up about, I'd say about 250 to 300 down yesterday. Um, we left Paris, got an Uber up to, uh, back to Delano up here. Uh, Steph went to bed because she was, she was just hanging out yesterday. And uh, I just went on the roulette tables to be honest yesterday. Uh, got up here, ended up $50 up on the roulette table. I was on there for a good couple of hours as well. So yeah, it weren't too bad. So last day today, which is absolutely gutting. I've uh, literally got 24, 25 hours left in Vegas. So yeah, always always pants having the, the last day, having to go home, but hey ho. If, if we could do it, all afford to stay out here forever, then yeah, that'd be gleaming, but I don't think that'll ever happen. So guys, Thank you very much for watching all these vlogs. Like I say it's my first it's my first attempt. 
Um, comment below, let us know how it's done, how it's gone, any tips, any um, things you think you can do better. Uh, anything you want to see maybe in future vlogs as well, let me know. So guys, have a good one. I'll see you soon.